Hey guys, this is Kenny Key, PW for Zombie Slayers Elite UK, and today I'm bringing you another love film review. And the game that I am reviewing today is Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game to the movie. It's a reasonably old game now. I have, had, to be honest, I actually have played this game before. Um, it was actually on Xbox, the original Xbox that I played it on. It's one of the first games I did ever play on it, and I suppose this is the real sort of first shooting shooting game I suppose I really played and also guys sorry about the voice it's uh I've got a bit of a something wrong with it I think it's I've got a cold or something it's just made my voice sound like this so uh, please bear with me I hope it doesn't uh, annoy you that much <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna try and keep this review short and sweet considering how long the other review was <coughs> But we shall see, depending on how I remember. Because I actually really remember this game very much, to be honest. And obviously, you can tell I'm playing on Xbox. I don't generally play Xbox, guys. So. This is actually probably the first time I'm actually doing an Xbox recording, actually. The first time I've played the Xbox in a while, to be fair, as well. Anyway, let's get straight into the game, guys. Uh, we'll see. I want the cast and crew on the ship within the hour. No, Carl, you can't do this. Tell them the studio pressured us into an early departure. It's not ethical. What are they gonna do? Sue me? Huh? They can get in line. I'm not gonna let them kill oh. myself. We have three hours to find a new leading lady, or we're finished. To be fair, it's actually a pretty good there movie as well, actually. Of actresses out of work in this city. Somewhere out there is a woman born to play this role. A woman who will journey into the heart of the unknown. Towards a fateful meeting that changes everything. Hmm. Duh. I've come into possession of a map, an uncharted island. That's always good. <laughs> An uncharted island. I don't know what I'm saying because I know what happens. One more second, quick. Um, I suppose a little bit to begin with, guys. Pretty good that they actually took a scene for the movie, it does always make it more realistic as far as the story goes. Joking. Infiltrate, what that? Ah, the voice acting as well. Oh, I remember this. Hmm. Well, I must say, obviously. It does look pretty good actually, graphic, graphical wise. It certainly looks a lot better than the Xbox version, I'll tell you that. From what I remember. I mean, generally actually, to be fair, I just look too bad actually, the uh, actual recording side of it either actually. Oh, I just wish you could skip this opening bit, because I remember it's just so long. It's been half my time watching this bloody video. Come on. Go faster. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. 
Oh. Does that mean I'm dead? I don't know. Loading. Come on then. Hey Jack, you gave us a fright. We crashed against the rocks. One of the sailor's brakes was killed instantly. Oh, we put his body over damn. There. What a shame. No, I don't mean that, guys. Honestly, it's quite a shame. Oh, God. We can't just leave him there. I know. Hayes is trying to contact Englehorn. Just gotta hope he saw us. If he did, he'd come looking for us with the seaplane. Ah, oh, that's my melee attack. Yeah, you're saying that now. Because I can't really remember the movie that well, but as far as I know, it looks and sounds like that movie. Okay, we've actually finally got to reload. It's okay. I got enough magazine. Cool. Jack! Holy shit. Guess we go this way. Okay, that's pretty cool. I want to shoot some test shots. Now? You want to start filming now? Sure, why not? That's why we're here. <laughs> the voice of Jack Black. <laughs> scream and scream for your life. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I fucking lose again. Die, you fucking crabby fucking motherfuckers. You said what? Where the fuck? It's Holy shit!
It's okay. I got it. This thing finally dead. Holy shit. I think I think. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Why not? Save because it's alright, let's continue on. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far actually, it's as good as I remember it. Just uh I suppose it's more kinda of like an action y game than a shooting game really. Let's go. Oh shit! Die, you fucking crabby bastards! Okay, let's give it a go. Let's push. They work just fine. What do you mean? I'm not sure. It's strange. To be fair, mate, I would rather be back home. If I was these guys, anyway. But yeah, guys, I don't know if I can actually make it in this particular video, but eventually you get to play as Kong, and personally, the Kong gameplay is a little bit boring, but it, it's alright because it gives us sort of you know a bit of variation. Obviously, you've got your first person action with obviously playing as Jack, and then you've got obviously um, King Kong, which is like you know third person kind of view. Alright, let's go see what's in my little crate. -y crate. Got a bone for the fun of it. We'll see them again. Let's go. First thing we have to do is find some. The fuck? Oh, right here. Yeah. Right, just go. We haven't figured out how to run yet. Just tell our players before. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm good now. Right. Run through here. Run through here. Now, if I remember something about this bit, I don't like. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. Oh shit, there's another one. Fuck. We can go now. Ah! It's serious. Man! You hanging in there, Carl? I was just thinking about Preston. I hope to God he protected those rules. <laughs> hey, you see Denim? Had your fill of real life yet? Anne, come on, let's get a couple of shots of you in front of this statue. Excuse me, Mr. Denham. Shouldn't we concentrate on finding Preston and the others? Finding What the f are you serious, mate? Fucking hell. Holy fucking Yeah, it's okay. fucking I got enough magazines. It's okay. I got enough magazines. Oh, I'm leaving the fucking... Oh Shit! He's <laughs> just got no, um... Red reticle is actually pretty good. If you manage to be easy to shoot things. Quite surprising actually. Can I live on it? Can I pick that up? Yes, ha ha ha. Oh shit, wrong button. Is he using a rave? No, that's not it. Oh, you can't have a crosshair, right, okay. Why the, why the hell do they have that off on by default? That makes no sense whatsoever. Holy shit. You dirty little bastard, trying to eat him. Is it broken? No, I think you'll be okay. Not me, I was talking about the camera. I don't know about the camera. I only know... Yeah. Gotta reload. Oh, you little bastard. What's she fucking met fucking super nurse or something? What the fuck? Talk about fucking unrealistic or fucking what? Oh. Hey Jack, you all right? Wait for me, Jack. I'm coming with you. Hey, are you crazy? I know what I'm doing. I'm coming, Jack. Hang on, Anne. 
I don't know why their voices are so quiet though. Well, fucking hell, hurry up, love. I ain't got all day. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, Sherlock. What the fuck? Bye bye, asshole. Hurry! We'll meet up at the top. Call the plane. Man, you hanging in there? I was thinking about Anglehorn. Please say it's fucking dead now. You wouldn't stop whispering over there because you're freaking me the fuck the out. <laughs> Holy shit. Heard every time. Oh, okay, guys. Well, this hit the 22 mark, so I think I'll call it a day there, guys. Uh, but yeah, so my first thoughts of the game is that, is as I remember it. To be honest, obviously it does look slightly better we have an Xbox. Um, the battle system isn't too bad. Obviously, you know, it's you know, because into other first person shooters it can be a little bit difficult stroke fiddly because the gameplay is quite, you know, quite frantic. Like one minute you're fine, next minute you've got these fucking weird centipede things jumping out the wall and everything, so Certainly a game you can't really think, you know, play, oh, I'll just play for 10 minutes, you know. It's a game when you start playing it, you get quite hooked. Um, I can't, apart from that, guys, I can't really say much more about it, really. It's not, personally, you know, when I got it, it was a fear that just came with the Xbox. So I didn't really sort of pay for it or anything. Obviously, it was a good game to play back then, but well, to today's standards, it's probably not really up to the sort of game I'd play, you know, for a very long time. Obviously, one I would bleed it anyway. So, <laughs> but obviously, as far as sort of sound goes, music is, uh, does fit the scenery. It's obviously you're on a desert island, like Skull Abandoned Island. So, music is quite eerie. Also, I didn't get to play as Kong. They picked a bit of gameplay, but obviously, from 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 memory, it was quite good. I mean, it was sort of had a battle with dinosaurs and shit like that. So, I overkill Troy. Oh shit! I fucked my corner. How well shit happens. Um, yeah, so much normal lady here, guys, uh, and he just died. <laughs> but, bit of what was I saying? You were saying about. Planet's Kong, like. Yeah, yeah Planet's Kong is quite good. You have to sort of battle T Rexes and that, and kind of intertwines into the story. And there's one point where you sort of play as Kong and you put it straight trump it back into playing as the first person character, so yeah. Anyway, I found some cool, cool app, you know. Not going to talk much more about it, guys. As far as the zombie rating goes, I'm literally going to go on what I played today and I'm going to not really take my own sort of view into it because obviously I do, did quite like the game back you know, a few years ago when I played it. So I think I'm going to give it a, a 3 out of 5 mainly because of even though this, you know, it does sound quite nice. The uh, the music and that did over overpower the voices a little bit, but I mean obviously you can change it in the settings. But even when I did sort of mess around with the settings, well this is I'm talk I suppose I'm talking about the original when I played on Xbox really. I'm not going to think about that about it really, guys. It's just I think I was didn't. It's just not my you know it's not up to today's standards really as far as you know graphically obviously not up to today's standards really. 
or just, I don't know, I just don't think I could really play it again once I've finished it once, so the review ability is probably not very, very good. I mean, if they did a thing of after you finished, you know, I don't know, it was just maybe you get to play as someone else maybe, because there's a few like side split off stories when one character goes another way and stuff like that, so if you could maybe, you know, play the other part of the story as well, you know, it might prove it a little bit. So definitely some more, so maybe some more guns as well, because I mean I know it is set in the sort of you know 50, 40s, 50s, whatever it is, but you know I mean you have a from memory you get a pistol, um, you get a shotgun. I don't, I think you get some sort of machine gun, stroke rifle. I can't remember, but it would be nice to have a bit more few guns, maybe in the story and you know just some, some you know some more some more melee weapons. I know you get a few melee weapons, you get bones and you get spears and that, but you know, but I mean, overall, it's a generally okay game, guys. But yeah, I'll give it about three out of five. So, well, that's all I've got time for this review today. Hope you have enjoyed the gameplay as well as the review. It wasn't very long, just me just kind of ran along a little bit. But anyway, so until next time, guys, I've been Kendrick EPW, and I will speak to you in my next video. Thanks for watching.